An estimated 40 million American men over the age of 18 are bald or losing their hair. And many of these men turn to hair transplantation, but some end up with disastrous results. Here's a look at what can go wrong and what can be done to repair the damage. A decade ago, Joe Caffarelli faced a frustrating reality. His hair was getting thin. I was looking at different um, procedures or lotions and potions uh, to make my hair grow. And I tried a few different products. I'm not going to send to work. Caffarelli decided to try hair transplant surgery. And while he looks great today, this is how he looked after not one but two transplant procedures done in New York in the early 90s. It was almost like my hair hit. Looked like a doll head. You could see like five, six hairs coming out. Caffarelli's poor results were dramatically improved by Dr. Jeffrey Epstein, a South Florida expert in hair transplantation. Dr. Epstein says that 20% of his patients are men who've had less than desirable results elsewhere. There's very, usually very little that can't be done to um, at least make a moderate to significant improvement in making someone feel more comfortable and have a restoration look more natural with some of the more modern techniques of hair transplantation. In some cases, though, the damage cannot be undone. Even after several procedures with another doctor, this man never achieved a natural-looking hairline. The process of repeatedly harvesting hair from the back of his head actually pulled his scalp off-center and left him with bald patches that will never fill in. This patient opted to remove his hair plugs altogether rather than live with obvious and unattractive results. You know, the bottom line is there's a limited supply of donor hairs, and if there's scarring in the back, that means that, number one, I'm dealing with a smaller supply of hairs upon which I can, or, you know, with which I can transplant. Yeah, this is the area you're still filming. Fortunately, that was not the case for Camparelli. Dr. Epstein was able to give him the head of hair he'd always hoped for. It was a miracle. I thought I could never have another procedure done. And according to the doctor, I could even have another one if I wanted to, but I don't know where else to put anymore. <laughs> now, the state of Florida now requires all physicians performing surgery in their offices to have accreditation from a state board. So be sure to ask for proof of this as well as other physician credentials before undergoing any kind of cosmetic procedure. That's probably pretty good advice for any kind of any procedure. Kind of procedure you right? bet.